Yo, what's up guys, Tectonic here, and today I'm bringing you another ATS video, or American Truck Simulator. So let's, as usual, get a started up, and basically just get going. So we're in Bakersfield, as you can see in the bottom right, and we are going to, for the first time, Arizona on this game. And it's the first time I personally have ever been there, because as you see me play this game, this is the first time I've been doing everything, basically. As for ETS 2... It's a bit different because I used to play that game before I started this YouTube channel, so I already know quite a lot about it. But this game, I'm literally just learning as I go along, and I'm going to new places all the time, so it's a lot more interesting. Um, so let's just see here. There we go. Right. This is a 30? Or is it going to change? I don't think we've gone in this truck before. I'm not sure. It looks a lot different. Oh, we need lights, don't we? Of course, lights. There we are. So, yeah. Oh, let me just quickly show you the map then while I'm at it. So, Bakersfield there. I'm going to go through Basco and arrive in Kingman. Just over there, just beyond the border of Arizona. So, hopefully, all shall be good. So it's quite cool, though, this game, because I've been to all three of these states that are on the game in a holiday, in a single holiday. Um, because I went to California. Oh, was that a shooting star? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I went to California in 2011 uh, to San Francisco, and then we drove uh, in a car, one that we just rented out while we were here in America. Well, I'd say here, there, I should probably say. We're not actually there. Um, and drove to Las Vegas. It took a few days, uh, but we went to places on the way, like the Grand Canyon and stuff. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's quite good. And then we crossed the border from Nevada over to Arizona. Obviously at Hoover Dam. Where else are you going to do it? That is the place to do it if you're going across the border. I wonder if you can drive over Hoover Dam on this game, actually. That's an interesting point. Actually, do we pass it? Oh, I actually meant to press M there, not escape. Um, it'll be up here, wouldn't it, by Las Vegas, I'm sure. In fact, I reckon it would even be maybe like this road here. That's why they've put that in there. That goes to nowhere. It could be something like that. I don't know. We could go and do it, to be fair. We could. We could, like, go up this way and round. Shall we put an old marker there? Let's just do it. You know, why not? Why not? Let's see where the road takes us. Ten hours, nine minutes, it now says. Oh, we should probably make sure that's actually going to get there in time still. Um... Oh, let me put my cruise... Oh, what was that? Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought it was an animal or something. Jeez. I just came out across the road. Um, right, hold on. Let me have a look. So, expected by 6.13pm. And it's going to take us 10 hours. So, yeah. So, we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. You know, they're not expecting it for over 12 hours or something. Uh, let me see. Oh, no. It tells you. 12 hours, 33 minutes. There you go. You know, and if that's going to take us... 10 hours, where is it? 9 hours 51 now, then we have got plenty of time 13 hours 18 on that's rest stop, so we won't need a rest either that is good about not having uh, your own truck, that you never need to rest really, or you never need to fill up your tank of petrol which is very useful because that does cost a lot and I'm still in the Maldives, I believe, I should be I think this will be the last video before I'm back, but I still record it. Are you allowed to drive through these then? What the hell are these that just come out of nowhere and why is there so many of them? Tumbleweed. Blowing through the wind. Uh, yeah, so I'm still in... I should be in Dubai now, I think, when this video's come out. I think. I should be. Because I believe this is coming out on a Tuesday and I come back to the UK on Tuesday, but Tuesday evening, so I could be in the air actually by the time you're watching this. I don't know when, when I'm going to be uh, scheduling these to come out, what time of day yet, because I still haven't left for my holiday as I'm recording this, which is a bit weird, isn't it? You know, I'm saying I'm on a holiday right now, but I'm not. I don't leave for another four days or something. Ooh, why is it all slowing up? I don't want to break. I really don't. <laughs> Please speed up. They're breaking. 
I'm going to be a decent guy here, like all of you guys should be, and come out at a slip road so that these guys don't have to stop there. Are they idiots? Such bad drivers on this game. Look at that. Truck waiting there to come out, and you guys just sit there on the inside lane, not letting them. That is poor driving. I mean, perfectly legal what you're doing, obviously, but just not the right attitude. What time is it? Oh, it's 6.20. I couldn't tell if it was sunrise or sunset. I thought it was sunrise, but wasn't sure. Right, are we going to overtake this guy? Come on. Yeah, we are. We're very slow. I can see it right at the front there. My uh, my bonnet just touching his, cut, his back left wheel now. Very slowly overtaking him. This is what annoys me on the roads, though. When you've got a two-lane road and a lorry is overtaking a lorry. And it literally takes forever because they're both limited to 58 miles an hour. At least they are in the UK. I don't know about this game. Where are you going, mate? Oh! Oh! Jesus, mate. Alright. Didn't know that was going into one lane there, but again, same principle you need to stop, not me. If you can't get into the lane, not up to me to let you in. Although, obviously, a good driver would have, but I did not see it. So, poor driving on my half there, I'd say then. God, it's gotten light quickly, hasn't it? Jesus. I was just saying, it looks like sunrise a second ago, and that suddenly looks like the middle of the day. 6.45. I'll be waking up earlier than that, though, for my holiday. i got to wake up at, uh, I can't remember now, actually. The flight's at 9.40, so 8.40, 7.40 to be there. But, well, I mean, you're meant to be there for three hours. We usually do it about two and a half, two hours. But probably for this flight, we'll do about two and a half. So what do I just say? 8.40, 7.40, so 7.10, let's say. And then an hour to get there, 6.10. Plus any time for traffic. I'd say maybe 10 to 6 would leave. So if we're leaving at 5.50, I reckon... Mm, I'm just going to come out here. Oh, there's a lorry there with his beacons on. Oh, 65 limit now. Oh, not, not quite yet, according to the GPS. Not yet. Soon, it says. Um. Oh, wait. Am I going off it? No, I'm not. No, I am not. Stay in this lane. Oh, gosh. Almost swerved off. Uh, yeah, so... Let me think. Five, ten, ten to six. We have to probably leave. That's just my estimate, though. My mum does all that stuff when we're going to leave. I don't know how she decides how long we need to get to the airport. I mean, it takes actually, to be honest, about fifty minutes to get to the airport from here, Birmingham Airport. So, um, so it won't. It doesn't take that long, and then I'm just saying 20 minutes, half an hour extra, just in case there is traffic. I mean, I doubt it at that time in the morning, but you never know. There could be. There very much could be some traffic. So um, yeah, I'll have to wake up early, basically. Ah, oh, speaking of things, let's slow down. Yeah, so um, I'm thinking half five at the latest I'm going to have to wake up. I mean, as long as I get everything ready the night before, which is always a smart thing to do when you're waking up early, <laughs> um, then, you know, all I need is l less than half an hour to get ready to go. All I just need to do is obviously wake up, get a shower, and uh, just f absolutely finalise I've got everything I need gather my bags and put them in the car, that's it. I wouldn't even get breakfast. I mean, I don't have breakfast half the time anyway, let alone at five in the morning, so <laughs> I don't think I uh, will need that much time. I just don't really have breakfast. I'm never hungry in the morning, really. Never. Very, very, very rarely am I hungry in the morning these days. You know, like before, I used to just 
it's sort of got more and more that I haven't eaten breakfast. Like, in the past, I would eat breakfast every morning, absolutely every morning, you know, from 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 when I was born to, like, when I was in year nine or something, I'd say, and then that's when I started, like, missing breakfast. And I, th I guess it st started when I was, um... I guess it actually started when I started being late for school and stuff. It was very occasional, you know, once every few months I'd be, say, ten minutes late to getting into school um, just because I've slept in or something, you know, because I've been lying in bed for too long. And then I'd just say, oh, I don't have time for breakfast, just skip it. And I guess that's where it started. And then it just ended up getting more and more. Not that I was late, it's just I ended up saying, oh, no, I can't bother with breakfast or something, you know, and then I'd just have a snack at break or something, you know, bringing a packet of crisps or something, I don't know, anything. Um, so yeah, I guess that's where it stemmed from, to me now not, never having breakfast, but pretty much, I mean, like, if I wake up at, say, I mean, I woke up at, say, 9am this morning, and I had my first thing to eat at, say, midday, probably. You know, like, I woke up at 9am, I had a shower, got dressed, and everything. I started doing work. Um, and, you know, I'm just not hungry until hours after I wake up. It's not so much a time of the day thing for me anymore. It's now just how long it's been since I woke up. And it always seems to be around... Why this? Oh, my God. Why are there signs for 70 miles an hour when it's a 55 on my GPS? This is really bugs me about this game. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, about waking up. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Move over to the left. Oh, Las Vegas. We're already on our way there. Oh, there's a police car. That looks like a patrol car, if I'm not mistaken. Like a city patrol car. What the? Oh, my God. Are you joking? It's a freaking downhill. I'm not even going to keep it 55 now. There you go. 54. I mean, come on. Let me off a, a couple times. Yeah, so that is why I don't eat breakfast, really. It's more, it's just a timing thing. I just never hungry, never hungry after I wake up. You know, even if I woke up at, say, 12 midday, I would not eat anything until at least 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Not that I'm saying I do wake up at 12 midday. Uh, I'm not that lazy. But occasionally I'll have a lion. And I'll lie in, say, till 11 a.m. That's more of a lying for me now. Unless I've specifically done something the night before, then I might stay in longer. Like if, I, if I've specifically stayed up later. But yeah, I'd say if I just went to bed at like a normal time, say midnight, I reckon I would easily sleep in till like 10, 11 a.m. every morning. I could easily get 10, 11 hours sleep every night. Definitely. But I don't. I always wake myself up. I set an alarm. Because I just don't like wasting the day. I like to get things done. A ASAP. Pretty much. Yeah, mate, you come in. You come in. There you go, I flashed you. Not that that does anything on this game, really. <laughs> well, it does occasionally, but... I don't think of anything like that. Plus, he'll be coming anyway, there's that bigger gap. Can anyone else just see that 70 sign? Oh, this looks very nice back here. Look at that. I'm drifting a little bit. Let's just move back over. There we are. Oh, look at that. We're already halfway through. Five hours to go now. See, so at least we do it. Uh, excuse me. At least we're discovering more roads. Let's just... Um Back off here. Let's just get rid of. Uh, oh, oh! I was just gonna say, let's just get rid of this GPS. Uh, what is it? F3, isn't it? There we go. That looks good, doesn't it? That truck actually does look really nice. Pretty damn good. And it has got cruise control on right now. I can turn my headlights off now. Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. Move back in, back in. This is going to go bad. I'm going to go back in. 
if you've seen some of my early ETS videos, that those things went really bad when I jumped outside the uh, jumped outside the cockpit or the cab. I should probably say because it's not a plane. So used to planes on my uh, main channel. I just realised it's got. A, oh jeez, I keep drifting off every time I look away from the road. Uh, I was just gonna say, look, it's got a GPS down there. I didn't even know that because I had. Oh jeez, I keep pressing F4 because I've got my own GPS covering it up. Let's actually. You know, how is it? Ah, oh, five there. Let's get rid of it though, actually. But I do want my other mirroring. It's very useful. Thinking about getting track IR, but it's quite expensive, and I am spending my money on a lot of other stuff right now. Like, uh, my next thing that I'm going to be buying is actually a Mac Mini or an iMac. I haven't decided which, because I really want a Mac for the editing software. I, I don't want a MacBook, though. I just want something stationary for at home, um, so that it's easy to edit on. Because I never edit on the go anyway, so... Because I just I can't do it with one screen. I literally can't. Ever since I've got these five screens, editing is just such a breeze now. Um, yeah, so I'm either going to get a Mac Mini or an iMac. Obviously, an iMac's a lot more expensive, but the reason I want it is simply for the uh, editing software. I'm going to get Final Cut Pro, but I actually want to uh, just try out iMovie first. Because, to be honest with you, I don't know if iMovie is just going to be good enough for me. Because I have tried it out before, and it seems to do everything I need it to do. Because, I mean, these edits aren't exactly anything special, are they? I mean, there's obviously people out there that do all sorts of editing, and they're adding all these effects and things to make the videos look really good. But gaming videos on YouTube have barely any editing. It's just li literally cut, cut, cut out all the boring parts and then that's it that's all you pretty much do uh, even on a video like this there aren't any cuts really at all apart from the beginning and the end that's it that's all I do to edit these sort of things that's all most people do for these videos because you're talking throughout the whole thing and you're obviously you don't a lot of people don't want to miss any part of the journey so you just keep it going keep it rolling so I want to actually try out iMovie and just see if that does me. And if it does, then that's what I'll do. I'll just use iMovie, but I will still have the intention of getting Final Cut Pro because I do make my own videos just for my own use. Like whenever I go on holiday anywhere, I will make like a video, a holiday video for it. Um, and they're the ones that obviously will have the most effects on them and the most things that you need in an editing software program. Gaming videos, you just don't, you know? It's just cuts and transitions and fades and all that sort of stuff. Oh, we're going off here. Is this Las Vegas? Yes, it is. Las Vegas discovered. This looks good here. Look at this. How it goes off down there as well. And we are turning right up here. Casino. I stayed at the Venetian when I was here. I wonder if that's on here. I doubt it. I said that on my stream the other day, on my Jack's Perception video stream, and someone said, do you know someone called Rose who works there? <laughs> I was just like, um, what? <laughs> do I know someone called Rose? I mean, what kind of coincidence is that, that I'm going to know that person? I went there six years ago. Not only would we have to both be there at the same time, like, not only would I have to visit there and she'd be working there in 2011, but she'd also have to be on the same shift as me like as I'm there and we also have to happen to bump into each other somewhere in that hotel and then I'd have to remember her not only read her name tag but then remember it for six years so it's a bit of a weird question but there you go this actually does look like Las Vegas I'm not gonna lie I remember all these really wide roads um just like right in the middle of the city I thought it was quite weird you know I find that quite weird about uh Dubai Dubai's a weird city um, just how there's a frickin' six-lane motorway <laughs> literally just going right through the centre of it, Shakes A Road. It's somewhat weird. So, yeah, basically, it is. But yeah, they've done actually really good job at this place. It's really detailed. Oh, we turn it right here. Yes, we are. There we go. 
bit of a weird way to get out of Las Vegas. I'm not going to lie. Just need to go into this left lane here. Because we are turning left and then right. There we go. Oh, jeez. Why is it always turning? I swear, every time I've got to a traffic light so far today, it's turned green. Right, we're going to go to this right-hand lane because we do need to now turn right. Oh, is it? Is it here? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. Oh, jeez. We're okay, we're okay. Oh, this is a nice little road going off here. Look at this place. It's actually pretty sick. Oh, shoot. It's actually pretty cool, yeah. Oh, look, look there. Hold on. There's the uh, fake Eiffel Tower in the background there. Pretty cool. Alright, let's just go. Get up this hill, hopefully. Actually, that's why it's good to have the GPS up. You can see your speed. That is quite a bonus. I mean, I know you can see it going on there, but it's not that clear. Actually, I suppose it's clear enough on this one. On ETS, I don't think most of them even work, do they? I can't remember. Here we go. Oh, sorry, mate. I did sort of cut into you there. Right, what is this? This is big motorway. Going into Las Vegas. Drive carefully. Right. There's our waypoint up ahead. I see it on the map now. Whether there is a Hoover Dam down here or not, I have no idea. But it doesn't matter. We've got loads of discovery on here now. We discovered Las Vegas and everything, so... It'll be fine no matter what. That police car's going very fast. Oh, it's a 70. This is what I don't get about America. How is this rogue a 70? In the UK, this would be a 60. And yet you have your motorways as 65s. As if this rogue is faster than a motorway in America. It's ridicu ridiculous. Where the heck are we? Oh, is it? Oh, I think, I think this is it. Down here, that looks like Lake Mead. Well, it looks like it could be Lake Mead. I'm just going to cut across here because I really ain't got time to slow down. I mean, like, look at that. As if that's a 70, those bends. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm joking, but <laughs> it is quite silly. Not going to lie. I did just cut across the grass a little bit there, but that's okay. Yeah, that's it. Hoover Dam. I see you. I see you. Oh, but I just, I'm now looking on the road. It looks like we're just going to have to turn left anyway. What is the point of this road then? What is the point of this road? It just goes nowhere. Like, I've come from Las Vegas, but if you turn right at the end of this road, it just goes to Las Vegas. So there's no point in this road whatsoever. But we'll turn left because that's where we need to go anyway. And hopefully we'll pass by Hoover Dam. I wonder if you can go actually over it, though. I mean, I know there's a bridge that goes over Hoover Dam, but I don't know if we can actually go on Hoover Dam. That would be interesting. There we go, onto this road. Two hours 15 to go. Yeah, it looks like we're going to go over it, guys. Unfortunately, can't go on it. I didn't know this was a big road that went over it, though. I mean, I knew there was a big bridge, but... Oh, that sucks that you can't go down there. That is really bad. That sucks. Just took a uh, photo there for the thumbnail. See, I have actually been in... Uh, oh, there we go. Arizona. The Grand Canyon State welcomes you. Yeah, I have actually been inside... Hoover Dam and on it and everything. It's actually a lot taller than I thought. Like, a lot taller. Jeez, I keep doing that. Wow. Now that that uh, landmark that we never got to go to is uh, done. What? I didn't mean to do any differential crap, but <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a 75 road now. I've never seen that. 70's the max in the UK. But... 75 I will at least tempt to go to. Not that I don't think I will make it. I keep getting like an itch on the same spot on my uh, on the left of my face. 
bit weird. Oh, could we make it to 75? We're even going uphill and we're still gaining speed. We're doing some work right now. 73? Are these trucks even limited? Like, I've never actually tested it. Like, on ETS, it is limited to, like, 70... No, I mean, uh... 55, is it? I forgot now, actually. Ah, oh, we're losing speed now. We're losing speed. Well, it's as dry as a desert here. But that is probably because it is a desert. I'm not going to lie there. Oh, this is where we could gain some speed. Oh, police car. We oh, can't do anything. 75, mate. I know you've already got me twice and so far in this game. Well, in this uh, in this one journey, let alone this game altogether. Oh my god, every time we get up the speed to potentially get to 75, we lose it because there's a freaking hill. Right, we're going to have to come out here, it looks like. There's no one behind us. I haven't got time to indicate. Come on, mate. You can do better than that. 75, here we go. Is that it then? Because... It doesn't look like it can go any further. I'm just going to stick it in cruise control then. 76 we got to there. That's got to be a record. Game record. <laughs> 76 miles an hour in a freaking truck. It's got to be like a real life record. <laughs> what trucks go at 76 miles an hour? None I'm aware of, basically. You can bypass the nearby way station. Have a safe journey. What does that mean? You can bypass the nearby... What's, what the hell's a way station? Oh, yes, 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 yes. We did that before, didn't we? Yeah, they don't have these in ETS. It's just where you get weighed up and checked out, isn't it, I think? Make sure you're not going over any legal limits. But it's like we're okay to go on by. Oh, shoot. Slow it down, slow it down. Slow it right down. 35 now. That police card didn't even get me, which is odd. It's 25 now. That's weird. They went from 55 to 35 to 25. What is the point? What is the point? Right, this is this is our town then, I think, is it? Where we're delivering it. So it says 11 minutes to go. Right, you're boring me, sir. Yeah, there it is. There it is, guys, on the map. Ooh, slow down. I do not want to get another ticket. Yeah, we can actually go in this left lane because we need to turn left up ahead. Looking good. Bit of traffic. Come on, then. There we go. God, you barely see anything in front of this truck. Big blind spot. Alright. Reg light for turning left. That's not us. That was an amber light there, so we're all good. We're all good. Right, so we've got to make our next left, I think, is it? So, I'll indicate now, I think. Yeah, here it is. The little uh, central reservation area. Kingman! That's it. Kingman discovered. Turning a corner at 30 miles an hour. Perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. Right, here we go. It's just up here on the left again, is it? Looks like it. That's a tricky turn for a lorry. You thought they'd make it a little bit better here. It's a blind corner as well. Right, here we go then. This is it. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Where do you want this thing? Nah, oh, mate. You joshing me. You joshing me. It took me like freaking 20 minutes to park one of these things before, let alone in a space like that. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it two shots. Alright, nothing more than that. I can't be dealing with this to go. Oh, God. Yeah. Didn't account for that wall. Or that building, in fact. <laughs> Probably should have. Okay, didn't account for that one either. That's okay. That's alright. We're uh, just going to back this thing up here. Oh, 
God, are we scraping that wall? I feel like we are. Yeah, we are. Oh, shoot. Don't hit the man. Don't hit the man. Oh, shoot. Right, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to go over here. Oh my god, how have I hit that? I'm not even touching it. This is what's annoying about this game sometimes. Right, there we go. Right, maybe that will be better to get us in. Right, easy does it. Easy. Easy. Easy, easy. Look a bit more. Right, and then... Oh my god, that's actually in! Oh my god, yes, decouple. Guys, if you like this video, and if you like that parking, give that a like. Alright, that's good enough for me. Excellent, excellent, yeah. Got a load of money. Eight grand, Jesus! And experience? Yes, level three, and we're so far through to almost level four. Alright, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, leave a like, and uh, in if you enjoyed the video, and you want to see more ATS videos, what should I pick here? Uh, then remember to subscribe, not just ATS on this channel, loads of different games, uh, GTA, ETS, Roblox, all sorts. I think we should go for a bit of a... Uh, uh, let's go for high value. Even it out, I say. Oh, we've got an email, let's just check that out first. We can help you grow. Oh, we can visit the bank soon, we might be able to buy our own truck, I think, in the next video. So that's it, guys. Next video is Roblox, but I should be back after. I'll be back for that video, but I've well, I've already made it. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.